Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're in our AVAB and today we're looking at ground attack, cannon and rocket. So let's kick off with our arming screen. We can carry one cannon and it's going to be in slot 4A pods. The GU GAU 12 25mm cannon. Uh, now on pylons 1, 2, 3 and 5, 6 and 8 we can have a hell of a load of rockets. So let's go and look on pylons 3 and 5 first of all. We've got rockets. Right, we've got three types of launchers. The Lao 10, the Lao 3, the Lao 68. The Lao 10 carries four large diameter rockets. The Lao 3 carries 19 small diameter rockets. And the Lao 68 carries seven medium 2.75 inch diameter rockets. The Lao 10 can have four times zoomies, Mark 81's just basic high explosive. The Lao 3 can have um, Willy Pete, white phosphorus, or high explosive, or high explosive anti tank. The Lao 68 can come in three times launchers, or just a single launcher. And it can come in parachute illumination, practice smoke, practice, I'm guessing that's non warhead, I haven't actually tried that. Uh, white phosphorus high explosive and high explosive anti tank. So on pylons 3 and 5, we don't, won't take a single zuni rockets. Um, from my experience, Zuni rockets are just the best to take if your target is anything other than infantry or extremely light armor. And on pylons 2 and 6, why don't we take something else? Let's try, um, uh, let's try the Lao 3, Pff, I don't know, just high explosive will do, I guess. Okay, let's arm that up. Request rearming. Right, fully armed up and ready to go. So I'm going to take off, hunt for some bad guys, and we'll report back when I found some bad guys. Check recording, yep. Okay, so we're airborne now. Let's have a quick look at our options. So if we click on our Lao 3s here, we can see we've got some various options uh, that we can change. Now, as a standard uh, method of firing, they will just fire one rocket per button press. And let's have a look at that. It is bomb piggle to fire them. Okay. Uh, but what if we wanted one button press to, to fire several rockets? Well, we can change that here a bit like when um, uh, we're changing the amount of bombs that we can drop. So we've got quantity, we've got multiple and we've got uh, interval. So uh, CCRP will be our standard dropping mode. Fuse will be nothing. Quantity. So let's say we wanted to fire, I don't know, um, three rockets per trigger ball. What that would do then is fire on one trigger ball, it would fire three rockets in session and they would come out of one rocket pod. Uh, next, if what if we wanted to fire three from each rocket pod, I would go to multiple, whoops, I would go to multiple two then. Now I believe it would fire three rockets from the left pod, I think first, and then three rockets from the right pod. We've got interval here, which is the time between fire. I don't think that actually works for, for rockets. We'll try it just in case. Uh, put it up to 0.7 seconds and see what happens. I'm going to press the button here just as a test. Air to ground mode on master arm. So that's for, that's just rippled off three on left from then three from the right. I don't think it listened to the interval. So I'm happy with that. Let's go round and find a target. Okay, we see some targets there on the road. So we want to come in from medium altitude, 5,000 feet, dive at an angle of five to 10 degrees at about 400 knots to 450 knots. Um, got some symbology even here we need to look at. We've got our targeting method here is the default uh, our CCIP or RCIP it's called here. We've got 31 rockets left. I've wasted a few I know. Uh, and we've got our CCIP ranging pipper here. So we're out of range at the moment. We know because the clock, uh, the ranging clock is fully wound. As we get within range, the winding clock is gonna start unwinding all the way until basically zero, at which point we smash into the ground. Uh, there are two uh, guide markers here, the 10 o'clock and the nine o'clock position. I don't actually know what they are. I've, I've never found out. All I know is I usually shoot when the clock is about halfway wound. That seems to give the best accuracy. Now these rockets we're gonna use, the Lao 3s are pretty inaccurate to be honest, but we shall give it a go anyway. So let's get in parameters. So let's get down to 5,000 feet, dive angle of about 10 to 20 degrees, let's put up the power, 400 knots, and let's wait, oh we need to make sure we're in air to ground mode and master arm is on, I've already done that in this case, line ourselves up so we can line up with the column of tanks, okay we're diving down for 5,000 now on our final run, 15 degrees, depression, and let's just wait, until our clock starts unwinding. And there we go. It's 
So I pressed the button several times. Each time I pressed the button, we had a full ripple of three from each side. I waited until the clock was halfway round. I don't think you have to wait until the clock's halfway round. I think you can wait until it's at the nine o'clock position. Uh, we'll do that with the Zoonies. But you can see that was pretty accurate and that was everything we needed. Next, we're gonna go for the Zoonies. Because we've only got a few of them, we're not gonna mess around with multiples. Oh, why not? Why not? Let's go, um, let's fire all four out on both sides on one click, just for fun. Okay. So that's us, um, we're going to go left turn, we're going to get back up to 5,000 feet, 400 knots and come in for another run. Okay, we're heading in again. This time, rather than waiting till the half position of the clock, I'm going to do it at the three quarter position and see how much accuracy we can get. Eight rockets there, but they're big, powerful rockets. Uh, but I think you can kill tanks with these. 400 knots, we're going to go to 15 degrees diving. Wait for the winder and we're going to hit it now. There's our, there's our ripple and there we go. Yeah, so that'll work fine. Um, one thing to point out, you do, if you didn't set the ripple amounts here, you just left it all as one, then it would fire one rocket per click and you would just have to click bah, 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 clicking loads like that. It's up to you how you want to do it, whether you want to do it in a ripple or not. Uh, that's that. So next, let's go on to the guns. I'm going to select our guns here. Okay, so same thing, exactly the same aiming reticule, and we've got 300 rounds of gun. So let's go round and um, fire the target. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an automatic gun, so you just keep your finger on it once, and uh, it will keep firing until it either overheats, I believe, or runs out of ammo. So let's go around again. The ranging is going to work exactly the same, just trusting the reticle. I'm going to go for three quarters of ranging. I don't know what these two chevrons there and there mean on the ranging circle. If anyone knows, please let me know. Again, 5,000 feet, 10 to, 50, 10 to 20 degrees, 400 knots if you can. Okay, all looking good. This time we're going to be using the trigger fire gun button rather than the bomb pickle. In range, and let's go. Pretty lo that's a lovely long burst there. It's, I believe they're 20 25 mil high explosive rounds, I believe. Let's go around for one more pass to finish them off. Okay, up at altitude again. We're going to roll in. It's going to be a bit steeper this time, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I think they may all be dead now. Let's see if we can, must be a live one down there somewhere. I think there's one at the end there. Pretty sure they're definitely all dead after that. Right, so that was showing rockets and the use of the air-to-ground gun. I should point out at this point that we can also use the gun in air-to-air. -air. Um, if we go to adjust controls, we can use that air-to-air -air gun. And we've got a bore sight fixed uh, pipper there that we can use to aim. Basically, it's just rather than like the CCIP trigger that we uh, Pippa that we had for the air to ground that moved uh, different places in the HUD to calculate for bullet drop and stuff like that and approach angle and stuff. This is just fixed to ball sight, so it won't give you any calculations at all. You just have to basically get the target as best you can on ball, ball sight and um, aim for any uh, dip that you can by eye. 